Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for January 15th through February 15th for the sign of Scorpio. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I am a tarot reader and an aspiring astrologer. If you guys haven't yet, check out my 2024 readings. They're in my video list. Um, there's a little bit of astrology included as well as some career and finance if that's something that you're interested in. Um, this is my first time doing love readings for you guys. And um, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm going in order. So, um, but if you guys enjoy it, let me know. Hit the like button. I'll make sure to make these videos longer next time and include more oracle cards. Um, but until then, I have my two tarot, my two tarot decks to clarify as I go. Um, to get you some past, current, and future energy as well, and clarifying those. And I also have the love oracle cards here too. So I feel like there might be decision between two people, okay? Um, and you're waiting for some clarity on what decision to make between two people. Um, so you might be thinking of uh, two friends that you've had feelings for. Maybe in the past you have not necessarily known who to give your cup of love to, okay? We have the Seven of Cups and it's clarified with the Knight of Cups. So a lot of emotions. You really want, you really don't know where you want to put your cup of love. You don't know who you want to offer it to. Maybe you are single and you're enjoying the single life um, and partying a lot and just living it up and that's okay. Um, so I feel like if you are single, you didn't really know, um, you're distracted at all the pretty things, okay? And you weren't entirely sure where you wanted to um, put your cup of love, but I felt like that might have been dimming down, like you didn't want to do that anymore. You really wanted to give your, your cup of love to somebody, okay? And so now you have the choice between two people. I feel like you really want to settle down and you really want to move forward. The two of wands here is action, okay? It's doing a lot of research about these two people. Um, or these two ways of living, okay? Um, so you could have been single and you want to be in a relationship with the Ace of Swords. You're waiting for some kind of clear sign um, to tell you that this person that you're thinking of is okay to move forward with. Um, so if you're in a new relationship, you're thinking about what, um, or you're in a current relationship right now, you felt like there's a lot of distractions for both of you. You really didn't want to settle down. But now you're seeing that you really want to move forward with this person. And this is for somebody who's in a relationship, okay? But you're just waiting for some kind of news or clarity. Um, and you're doing a lot of research as to what type of future you want with this person. Whether that's two places to live, um, you know, or something of that matter, okay? Um, in your near future, you have the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Swords. This relationship might not work out, okay? Um, just so you know. So the Eight of Cups being here is moving past um, something that doesn't serve you. So that could be a possible breakup. Um, with the Nine of Swords clarifying it, I feel like maybe this person wasn't exactly who you thought they were. Okay, or maybe this wasn't exactly the lifestyle that you had wanted. Um, with the Eight of Cups being here, it's facing your fears. And the Nine of Swords being here, that's that's the card of anxiety. So I feel like, you know, this person might not be the one for you. Um, unfortunately, I hate to say that, Scorpio, but this person might not be the one for you. Um, let's see what the Love Oracle cards say. If you haven't yet, like my video so you can see more of it. If you're interested in a personal reading, let me know in the comment box below. I'm in the middle of setting up my website right now, so I'm excited to get those to you guys. Okay, you are the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. So I'm going to retract what I said because I did have clarification from the uh, Love Oracle cards. So I feel like you did make the right choice with this person, and maybe this person is helping you move past your fears, okay? Maybe, and you know, in that process, you deal with a lot of anxiety, and that person is here to help you through it, okay? This person is the right choice, okay? I'm going to get you guys another card, because I feel like you need one. I'm going to get you guys one more card. Yeah, I feel like maybe this person was had a lot going on 
if you guys weren't sure if you wanted to settle down or maybe you weren't sure that you wanted to you know offer a commitment with the two of wands being here you guys you know come together or want to come together or maybe you're thinking about two types of lifestyles if you are single but you're waiting for some clear sign to show you that they are the one and they are the one okay this is your sign telling you they are the one um but you know and, and i was also saying you have to date you have, might have to deal with some fears and some anxieties in order to move past them and you need to be transparent with them okay and the sun card is just shining the light on the darkness this person really shines a light on you and they accept you for who you are okay and that and you know that about this person just shining the light on the darkness i feel like this is some kind of renewal for you guys if you guys are in a relationship okay Maybe there's something that you were holding back. Scorpio, you guys are a very intense sign and you don't feel how you don't you don't show how you truly feel unless you feel like you can trust a person, okay? And this person is somebody that you can trust. This is saying that you have to work through something though if you want it to be successful. You have to shine a light on your darkness. Maybe you need to accept something from them that they're not perfect as well. And that nobody's perfect, but you guys can move on and, and accept each other and love each other how you are anyways, okay? Um, with that being said, Scorpio, I wish you guys the best of luck, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!